Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another AWS hands-on tutorial. In this video, we'll use the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or CDK, to deploy AWS infrastructure as code. The AWS CDK uses the expressive power of familiar programming languages such as Java, Python, TypeScript, and others to define your AWS infrastructure as code. Then, the CDK utilizes CloudFormation behind the scenes to provision the infrastructure you defined in your code. Before we jump in and start coding, let's discuss a few concepts you should be aware of when working with the CDK. First, an AWS CDK app is an application that uses the CDK to define AWS infrastructure. An app defines one or more stacks, which are similar to CloudFormation stacks, and each stack contains constructs. Constructs are represented as classes in any of the CDK-supported programming languages. You instantiate constructs in a class by declaring them to AWS. Then you use the AWS CLI, commonly referred to as the CDK Toolkit, to synthesize a CDK stack into CloudFormation templates, which are then used to deploy your stacks. Some of the CDK CLI commands we'll use in this tutorial are CDK init to initialize your CDK project with your preferred programming language, CDK synth, which provisions resources the CDK requires to deploy applications using CloudFormation, CDK bootstrap, which will bootstrap a new CDK app environment, and CDK deploy. In order to work with the CDK on your local machine, you must have the following installed. NPM, or Node Package Manager, which will be used to install the AWS CDK CLI. A package manager for your programming language of choice. In our case, that'll be PIP, since we'll be using Python to define our infrastructure as code in this video, and an IAM user configured on your local machine with appropriate credentials. For this tutorial, I've granted my IAM user administrator access but in a real-world scenario, you'll want to follow the principle of least privilege. Now, to get started working with CDK, I'll execute npm install minus g for global to install the AWS CDK. Then I'll run CDK minus minus version to verify the install. Now, I'll execute CDK init to initialize an application named sample app and specify the language to be Python. Then I'll create a Python virtual environment and activate the environment. And finally use pip to install the application's dependencies. Now, if we look at our directory structure, we'll see we have a directory named AWS CDK Python. And if I do an LS inside that directory, we see an AWS CDK Python stack.py file. If I cat that file, inside we see an AWS CDK Python stack class defined and inside of that, an SQSQ, an SNS topic, and a subscription added to the topic. Now I'll execute a CDK synth to synthesize the application code to a CloudFormation stack. Then I'll run CDK bootstrap to bootstrap the app And now if I jump over to the S3 console and go into buckets, 
we'll see our CDK bucket. However, the bucket doesn't yet have any templates. So if we jump back into the terminal and do a CDK deploy, we'll say yes to verify that we want to deploy the changes. Jump into CloudFormation. We see our CDK toolkit was created. And if we refresh, we see our AWS CDK Python stack create in progress. And if we jump into S3, and refresh in the bucket, we see the CloudFormation template has been uploaded. Now let's go back to CloudFormation and watch the stack creation. And we can monitor it in the terminal. So in the terminal, we see that deployment is complete. So let's jump back into CloudFormation and refresh. And we see our stacks in create complete status. So let's open up the resources. We see our queue and our topic. And I can open the topic. And we see it's been created. Now let's jump back to the terminal and I'll open VS Code, go into the AWS CDK Python folder and open the stack Python file. And then I'll make a change, save the file, go back to the terminal and run a CDK diff to see the changes. And we see our value 300 is now changed to 600. So I'll go ahead and deploy these changes. Jump back into cloud formation. And we see the status is now update in progress. And now it's complete. Now, when you're done with the stack and you want to destroy it, we can execute the CDK destroy command. We'll say yes to verify. Jump back into cloud formation. Refresh. And we see our delete in progress status. And here we have validation that the stack was destroyed. So again, we'll jump back into cloud formation, refresh, and the stack is gone. If we go to SNS, go into topics, we see we no longer have a topic. So that concludes this demo on using the AWS CDK to provision infrastructure for a demo application. I hope you found it informative.